Okay, here we have something we don't see too often. This is a Rochester carburetor. It's for a Chrysler. And you can see it has the Chrysler, you know, very easy identifiable Chrysler linkage. This here is a four barrel, about 750 CFM. It has an optional electric choke, which you will get instructions both in writing and a video on how to turn it on. Because we turn it off because it needs to be turned on according to your motor to your electrical system so we'd be just guessing now I'm gonna add a little comment I'm just guessing these are used on motorhomes and it says heavy-duty Dodge trucks from 80s to 80 something to 88 my curiosity would be I wonder if that would replace a thermal quad I am not saying that it would because it's got some awful big butterflies you'd probably have to put a spacer in there to get it to do it but I'm, think, I'm thinking, if I had a motorhome, I believe I would try it. You can get you can get these spacers here on Jags or Summit or at your auto parts joint for under thirty dollars. And boy, to me, that would be a cheap way to convert your uh, thermal quad into a because uh, man, it's got all kind of vacuum fittings. Those thermal quads, they got vacuum fittings all over them. And this here bugger has two. It's got them in the back and the front and the side all over the place. But I'll tell you, it's a sweet running carburetor, and it would really certainly get some good mileage. But we're going to try it anyway. And boy, it sure pulls good on that, on that dyno back there. You wait till we put it in here and try it. We're just going to just do a simple run-up of the light load. All the while we're watching one, two, three, four, five different gauges. Now I'm going to slip around here and put it in here. Let's see here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm put her in a. I'm going to put her in a load equivalent for about a motorhome. About a key. That's the car truck motorhome. Okay. That thing puts it hydraulically puts a load on the engine. And it tells you whether this carburetor can perform satisfactory with the load on it. You know, it doesn't say anything about the engine. It tells you what the carburetor will do. Whether it would supply enough fuel. That one there put up almost... I can't believe it. I can't believe it. 800, 700 and some foot pounds of torque. That is amazing. But that, that's just, that'll do it. So that carburetor right there is capable of putting. That's, that's a big load. That's the biggest load we've. That's the biggest load we've uh, tested here on that new on that new dyno back there. Okay, let's get her for sale, boys.